Okay, guys, we're looking at scripts. Now, we don't have a lot of time. We're going to spend the next 10 or 15 minutes on scripts. We're going to have a short break, and then we're going to finish off with agent attraction, okay, which I think is important. Um, so why? Why scripts? Um, sales is the ability to ask a series of questions that naturally and automatically lead you and the prospect to immediately desired end result. It's a yes or no. Sales is the ability to ask a series of questions that naturally and automatically lead you and the prospect to immediately desired end result. So um, I'm kind of mixing up scripts and sales. When we talk about sales, um, if we know what to say at the right time, it's going to give a better chance of us getting to a mutually desired result. Now, I know as a company, I have been, some of you are on the company group, I've been talking about negotiation, and it's all kind of leads together when it comes to and knowing and um, expectations and needs and meeting needs, et cetera. And that's what sales is. But what we want to do is make it duplicatable and make it sustainable. Okay, that's why we have scripts. And what scripts does, knowledge gives us confidence. If we know what to know, what, what to say in a specific situation, it adds confidence. We know what to say. Now, I'm living this out. When I don't know what to say, it's more difficult to pick up the phone. It's more difficult to, to make that cold call or to door knock if I'm not, not sure what to say. If I know what to say, it gives us confidence. I don't find it a distraction. And, and, and I, I personally do it because I've got a script when I use for, um, which I use for estate agents um, and um, for, for guys, uh, for the cold calling I do when, when I'm doing agent attraction. Now, having a script makes it so much easier for me to make that phone call. It immediately stops me being distracted. And I'm, I'm the king of distraction if I don't know what to do. I need to get into the box and I've got my sheet of paper, my script in front of me. I just read that script and I get better and better at the script. And it's amazing when I'm terrible at the script, I still get a result. But the scripts do work. Okay, so it's not something that we've talked about too seriously up to this point, nor like we, we dealt with the CRM system earlier. What I'm doing guys uh, as a team is I'm bringing in Things like CRM system, we, we need to be upping our game on that. We need to be upping our game on scripts. Now, one of the reasons for scripts as well, when I hear the, the world's best agents are talking time and time again, when they talk about coming into the office at seven in the morning and doing 15 minutes script um, in practice, they do it every day. These are guys who are selling 100 properties a year. When they do script um, practice, uh, I'm better do it. I'm just like, well, if these guys are doing it, it's not like for rookies, it's for everyone. Okay, so I'm just going to introduce you a few, uh, um, and there's various parts of the sales process. I'm going to introduce a few scripts that we can use for lead generation, proper certificate scripts. I'm going to go through it now. Circle prospecting, introduction as a new area specialist, the database primer, the oh, by the way, dialogue, properties listed with other agents and private sellers. Uh, and buyer has owned to stuff, bonus one. Okay, so I'm going to, I'll send this, this, these scripts out to you. I'm going to go through that now. Okay, cool. Go through this. Sorry, my computer does take a few seconds. I'm hoping it doesn't um, crash on me. It does. Okay, yeah, guys, I'm going to just share the scripts now. Just let me get to it. Um, by the way, as an aside, just while I'm looking for that um, script, um, no, I won't say that. Okay, let me just get there. Share the screen. Okay, so I'm just going to give you a bit of an introduction to the script first, and then we're going to go through it. And then, um, okay, so this comes from the lead generation blueprint, circle prospecting. What is circle prospecting? Circle prospecting is when we do cold calling in an area, but with a reason. As opposed to just having, okay, so I'll search on, on Lightstone and the virtual agent, I'll search under, I'll give myself a list of 100 people. What I'm doing though, I'm circle prospect, I'm doing that, but with much better, much more of a purpose. What, what we refer to as circle prospecting is finding a property event in my suburb. And it could be a, another property that's for sale or another property that's just come up on for sale. 
Then I searched for all the properties around it, the details of the owners of all the properties within a, a, a circular basis around it, a few hundred meters around it. I've now got something to say when I talk to people. So you, uh, there is something to say when I talk to people. Okay. So that is per doesn't make sense. Any questions around what circle prospecting is? I would highly recommend it as a very, very good way of doing cold calling. You're not just doing cold calling, but you're doing cold calling with an event. Something to say. So when I do my, I find my cold calling with agent attraction is much easier when I'm referring to something. You registered for my webinar. Thank you for registering. I know one, only one out of 50 people actually pitch up at the webinar. This beside the point. I immediately have got it in because you registered for my webinar. And now and then I can have a conversation as opposed to saying who the person saying who are you? I've never heard of you before. Okay. So it's the same with prospecting. You've got something to say. So let's go through it. it says hi, Mr. The agent. You can it's made up of agent. And then it's only then then I've got into capitals is the the other person responding. Hi, Mr. Mrs. Um, this is XYZ with Corus Property Group part by EXP Realty or just from EXP Realty. How are you today? The person says, How's it? Yes, I'm cool. And the agent says, me too, thanks. Just enjoying the weather. As Steve Johnson says in his training, saying something about the weather uh, is actually uh, more useful than you realize. It's not just some odd thing which I don't know what to say. Therefore, I talk about the weather. It is actually something that we're all interested in. Especially if you're in Cape Town at the moment, you can say, yes, see, this last weekend has been crazy. How crazy was that? Do you also know someone that's been flooded out? Okay. Anyway, Mr. And Mrs., I don't want to take too much of your time. The reason you say that is because the other person knows is that uh, you focused on them, but you're also not going to be here on the phone forever. It kind of gives a bit of sense of urgency to it. I just wanted to let you know that this property down the road, number two Main Street, is for sale. So there's definitely movement in the property market in your area, in our area. And I wanted to check in and see if there was absolutely anything I could do to help you. You're referring to an event, and now you're asking, is there anything I can do to help you? Okay. If yes, you qualify and then book an appointment. Okay, so that's only going to be one out of 20, probably. If no, hey, no problem, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Jones. Can I ask you if you were ever selling or if you had a friend or family member who was, do you have an agent in our area you would work with? If it's no, great. Well, I'd love to be able to, to be accessible to you because one day you're going to sell or you may know someone who wants to do something in our area. And I'd love the opportunity to be able to help you when that day comes. Would it be okay if I stayed in touch with you? Then you're silent. And they say, yeah, sure. Great, what's the best email address to get you on? The objective of circuit prospecting is not to get the mandate that the, um, the objective of circuit prospecting is to get the database. Because, um, Annette, you won't know this, but with estate agents, um, the lead generation blueprint is the link I'm going to send you uh, and some of you other guys, is our idea is to, our idea is to get 100 plus 100 um, eight, uh, person, 100, what do you call it, an advocate, they call it. They are always going to be referring us. We're going to keep in touch with them on a monthly basis or email or the phone call, um, and they're going to refer us in the future. What we want to do is build that database. And over time, we're going to, by, by circle prospecting in our area, we're going to build up a database. So this circle prospecting, the idea is to get that person's information. That's it for so objective. You may get a mandate out of it. You may get a referral out of it. But your main thing is, I'm, what value can I add you as me being a property expert in the area? And then it's simply, great, what's the best email to get to, address to get you on? And you're following it up with, hi, Mrs. Edwards, it was great meeting you on the phone today. Here's a link for you to learn a bit more about me and my activity in the area. That link, this is where PopCon helps. Now, initially, you may not say that. Um, you may just link them to an article, or oh, this is what's happening in the area or whatever. But this is where you'll have a PopCon link and it would link to your profile and your listings in the area. So it shows people that you've got something. Please let me know if there's ever anything I can do for you. And kind of got, okay. That's, pros that's circle prospecting. So I get a lot of new agents saying, what do I do? This is it. Okay, obviously I would, I mean, if you need to, I would work with a bit more with you. I would read, I would watch the, um, the lead generation blueprints. It's an hour and a half seminar that we did, a webinar that we did. Um, two or three months ago, that's a very good one to watch. 
Um, okay. Any questions, comments on circle prospecting? Are we okay? Uh, okay. Do you think you could probably use it as well um, for door numbers? So maybe if I'm targeting an area, because yes. uh, there's extensions, like back in down to that state. Yeah. Maybe I'm doing extension one at the moment, but maybe driving back an extension to I see house being so maybe do circle prospecting yeah. on that. It's a good idea. Yeah. For me, what I like is that it gives you an in. Yeah. You're not just saying, hey, I want something from you. You've actually got a conversation to start with. Yes, I think it's a great idea. That links on to what you're saying, um, level over the with the next with the next dialogue. So this comes from the training that we did um three or four months ago with the leader vet on the um lead generation. Um talking about uh, getting specialization and becoming mayor of your area. You're going to choose a pocket of of, um, of of streets and you're going to be door knocking. What are you doing that door knocking? You're not door knocking and saying, hey, I want something from you. Are you selling your house? You're door knocking with this strategy, what we're talking about right now. Um, good day, you're knocking your door. Hey, good day, um, sir, madam, my name is... Um, Lebo, I'm an estate agent from Corus Property Group, Power VXP. I've just entered the real estate industry and this area has been awarded to me for to care for the residents. You can say that, you can say that I've chosen this area to specialize in, or you can even say I've been awarded this area. Um, Leader Vet is talking from a pretty, when he made this dialogue, he's coming from a half courts environment where they have this specific area, whereas we in ESP Realty can choose whatever area. How you position that is up to you, but do say something to the fact is that I, I've, you know, I'm allocated this area, I've chosen this, I've chosen this area. Would you mind if I took two minutes of your time to present you with three free services I'm offering this community? I'm coming and offering something to this community. Yes, you may. Thank you, sir, madam. As I mentioned, I only need two minutes. May I ask who am I talking to? Are you the owners? How long have you lived here? Thank them for the information. So you just ask them a little bit about themselves. Hey, you've been here for how many years? What's your name? Etc. As I mentioned, I'm new to this area. So as a way of introducing myself, I have three free opportunities for you. First of all, we're offering a free, no obligation valuation to all property owners. We can value you to give you free valuation. Number two is that we have opportunity for the residents to join our locals, LECA community business WhatsApp group. I think we have spoken about that. Um, what we do is that, uh, what Lee's spoken about is that um, we have a WhatsApp group that say every Friday, Every business owner in the area can, can put their, their business on and advertise the area. And then the thirdly, we have a community care campaign that focuses on budgeting and financially and being financially savvy. So that is a handout, which we haven't developed yet. But if you haven't, if I haven't given it to you, you're going to develop your own one and find out what is a user-friendly thing I can hand out to sellers. Um okay, so um the objective um so, so what Lee's saying is that you can actually say to the owner which one do you want, or you can give all three. But there again, you're adding something to people to then get their details. So as, as it says here, the objective is to connect, build a bridge, to come back. You're building some relationship, and you're then going to be door knocking, say, you know, every month or two. You're going to get the client to take one or, or all three of the free opportunities. You're going to get the contact details, um, and then you're going to provide the feedback appraisal or contact request. So also what I would suggest is once you've got the contact details is to then send a similar email that you've got on the top. It was so great to meet you this afternoon or yesterday. I look forward to keeping in touch. Okay. Does that make sense? On uh, an introduction as a new area specialist, you're going in and giving something. Um, just further notes. Um, that we that we that we had on this bottom, this particular script. Be consistent and frequent. You've heard the phrase out of sight, out of mind. Too often a sales consultant expects instant results when sending out just one piece. The effectiveness of any personal promotion campaign is directly related to its consistency and frequency. Most top sales consultants make sure that their market hears from them at a minimum of once a month for some form of communication or promotion. Some samples of timely contact are holidays, statistical data on happening with your market, articles, inspirational sayings. So um, there again, Lee had also said around about this time is don't just, um, never just hand out a card. Sorry, never just randomly, sorry, drop off flyers. Only hand over flyers face to face. Don't drop off flyers in your ear. It's a waste of money, a waste of time. 
To be proficient in prospecting, the prospector must see and understand the potential client's prospective, perspective or point of view. Um, one of the biggest mistakes new agents make when door knocking is trying to hard sell total strangers on their door, doorstep. It's about a long-term strategy. View, and, and this is why I would, um, over a period of time, start choosing an area that you're going to be the king or mayor of, uh, the mayor or queen of, um, that you then can keep consistent activity. After a few months, you're going to get you're going to get an in. Now I'm I'm living in an area in Cape Town where the CIF agent has been there for like decades, and my wife is thinking of maybe joining the real estate industry and becoming a estate agent. And we're thinking like we've got the biggest, the oldest brand, one of the oldest brands in the country, and CIF and Golden come from literally the area I, I live in. That's where that's the biggest brands in the country come from my suburbs, um, and now I'm going to compete with them. If you are consistently building relationships, you will beat them. Now, Pam Golding in my area, Ron and Bosch, uh, what the the they were it was their it was their turf. It was almost every sale happened in, in Pam with Pam Golding and Ron and Bosch, where I come from. Um, however, now it's not the case. Other agents have come in because over a period of time they've been building. With, and there's a company called Property Link, which just specialises in my area. They're king of the area because they're building relationships and consistency. They're there when things happen. Okay. Um, just the third one. I'm, I don't want. To, I'm not going to be too long here. I'm just going to finish off um, with the next two or three, and then I'm going to send it to all of you, and you can start reading through it and work out what works for you. We have spoken of. We have just mentioned about the database, uh, building a, hundred, a database of a hundred advocates. This is a dialogue that we use when you start out in real estate. Um, you, we, we're making a list of a hundred or two hundred people. And Steve would talk. Steve Johnson talks about it in the in the lead generation blueprint. You write a list of everyone, and even people you don't like, because when you write their name, you're going to think of people that they know, and that you may know, that you may like. Okay, Mr. or XYZ, the reason for my call is that I've recently made a decision to build my business exclusively by referral, and part of that means focusing far more on my communication and making sure that I keep my friends informed about what's happening in the property market. And so what I'm trying to do initially is to get clear on who it is who would actually be happy to refer me. So, can I ask you, if you were buying or selling your home, or if you had a friend or family member who was, am I the agent you would refer them to? Yes, David, of course I would. Thanks for that, Mr. Jones. Your referrals mean a lot to me. What's the best email address for, for me to keep in touch with you? There's one, there's one advocate you just got. Now, that's not going to work for everyone. Um, someone might say, actually, my best buddies are national agents. Well, great. All the very best working with them. That's great. You know, we support that. Okay. But this is... So if I were to say in 30 seconds, I want to build my real estate business, that's what I would do. I would use this database to build my advocates and I would do door knocking in a particular area as per that, that list. That's what I would do. Okay. I, I'm not sure what else I would do. I, it would freak me out, but I would do it. Okay. In addition to doing what Tim was saying, um, knocking on doors with, with, with mandates that are already there. Okay. Okay. The, oh, by the way, dialogue, we were taught this, I was taught this by Steve Johnson 20 years ago. Whenever you have a conversation with an advocate, use this. Um, I'm not going to go into the whole story behind it and why, how this is used, but or with the history behind it. But when you're dealing with a friend or family member or a contact on the telephone, just at the end of the conversation, you say, oh, by the way, Mr. Jones, if you know of anyone thinking of buying or selling the home in, in Ronnebosch, just call me with the details and I promise to look after them. And if there's any, ever anything I can do for you, just let me know. You finish off with that. You're always asking for the referral. That's a great skill to have. We're always asking for the referral. Okay. Does that make sense? I'm going through this quite quickly. If you want more details, I'm glad to spend 20 minutes with you on the phone going through this in detail. And by the way, know this dialogue. Know this dialogue. I learned this many years ago. I just, I knew it off my heart. Okay, cool. I'm just going to touch on other dialogues. I'm not going to go through it. Properties listed with other agents. These are these are great dialogues to use with properties listed with other agents. Okay, cool. And then private sellers, we don't have a lot of that nowadays, but it's people that are selling their own, own, uh, own properties. And then lastly, uh, the buyer has a home to sell. We're dealing with buyers. Quite often, they're also selling their property. This is what you, 
uh, this is the dialogue to use. Especially like I live in southern suburbs in uh, Cape Town, it makes sense. Someone's typically selling in Harfield to upgrade to Ronobus, or they're selling in Ronobus and they're downgrading. And so people are on the same area. If you if it's from Creole to Johannesburg, it's a different story. But often in our areas in the suburbs, people are moving from one area to another, and we can actually work with both deals. Let's be aware of that. Okay. Zafir? Yeah, um, I can email it to you. Yeah, okay. I will, I'm will. i going to be emailing this these to everyone. Okay. Any questions on scripts? These are prospecting scripts. There are scripts to use when you're dealing with sellers and seller presentations and so forth. I'm just, part of what I'm doing today, this, it's the, I mean, there's this five-day training just on scripts itself, but I'm just sowing the seed to know that scripts are, is a thing. And um, if you search on YouTube or on the internet, you're going to find lots of scripts. But these are some very good scripts to use from a prospecting perspective, at least as a, as a start. So a lot of what I'm saying today, today whether it's CRM or these kind of things, I'm, I'm saying the seed to, to say these things exist. These things are what professional agents are using. Yeah. But these are fantastic scripts to use in the meantime. Okay, cool. Any questions on scripts? I will email this to you later today, today or tomorrow. Okay. Okay, we are now going to have a three-minute break. At 20 past, we're going to consider and we're going to land this today uh, with agent attraction. Okay, so let's have a, a few-minute comfort break. Okay, thanks, guys.